Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So excited you came to the channel today. I'm glad you showed up. Today we are going to touch uh, on an implement that has to do with a video I did the other day about uh, handling your payroll inside QuickBooks Point of Sale. Today we're going to go over how the time clock works in different situations. Before we do that, don't forget to click on the link down in the description below so you can get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Join up there, ask questions, request videos, talk to people such as me and other Point of Sale users in the community. We look forward to seeing you there. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today so you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks Point of Sale videos, all the knowledge that you need to know all the time uh, coming right at you. All right, so clock in and clock out. This is what your employees need to do if you're going to track their time in QuickBooks point of sale. Uh, this is like their time clock, which flows over to uh, QuickBooks accounting for payroll. But I'm just gonna touch on a couple things here. Uh, you may notice up in the upper right here, we have no user switcher. So what that means is that logins are not turned on in this particular QuickBooks point of sale company. And so uh, I'm gonna show you in a moment when logins are turned on that it will uh, ask you if you wanna log in and if you wanna clock in. But when you do not have logins turned on and you can't see any login menu up in the upper right, then what your employees need to do is they need to remember right away when they get to work to hit clock in, clock out. They can then choose their employee username and hit clock in and now they'll be clocked in. You'll notice this little bubble here tells us how many people are currently clocked in. Then when they're going to go on a break or they're going to leave work, they are also going to hit the time clock again and they're going to need to, oh shoot, who did I just choose? I think it was, uh, what's this person? Nope. This person? Nope. This person? Nope. Let's see, page. Da, 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 da. Okay, it was right down here. This person, okay, you'll notice that if somebody is already clocked in, then when you choose their name, it will say clock out right here and we'll go ahead and clock out. Now I'm gonna switch over to a different file where we actually, I'm just gonna enable so I can show you. Preferences, company. We will just require users to log in when they get to work. I just have to set an admin password. And hit save. Okay, now when people get to work or when they go to use the computer, they will need to log in as themselves. And this person does not have a password, they should, but there you see it. Right when they clock in to use the point of sale, it tells them, hey, you're not currently clocked in. Would you like to clock in now? It's also going to say this when they get back from break. And I can hit yes. And this person right here, Emily, will now be clocked in. You can see that Emily also does not have rights to mess with the time clock. That's very important. You want to set that for your users unless you want them to screw around with your time clock all the time. This is why if you use the uh, time clock to clock in and out, I highly recommend that you do turn on the username login up here and that you actually do have passwords put in for it those naughty company not doing that whoever this was so there you have it that is clocking in and clocking out of the quickbooks point of sale time clock so that you can track your employees hours get them over to quickbooks payroll and get those employees paid very easily my name is peter with blackrock business and if you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. But if this was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that like button. I love my likes, and I love them from you especially. All right, you have an excellent day. Bye-bye now.